Hello, I am Shital Deshmukh and we are going to study about circulatory system. First, what is the circulatory system? Circulatory system, the organ system of body that is responsible for transport of material throughout the body is known as circulatory system. The primary part of the circulatory system is heart, then artery and vein. So, we are going to study about most important part of circulatory system that is heart. So, what is the heart? The human heart is just like the water motor, water motor of in your home. The water motor is pumped the water throughout the home. At the same manner, heart is a muscular pumping organ and that pumps the blood throughout the body parts throughout the body parts the size of uh, the size of heart is just like your fist the size of heart just like your fist the outer covering of the heart is made up of the pericardium membrane the pericardium membrane is double layer structure and the function of pericardium membrane is a protection of heart where is the heart situated the, you know that about the situation of heart situation of uh, of heart the heart is situated to the left side of your body in a chest cavity in a rib cage so what is the function of rib cage the rib cage protect the heart from the outer injury you know that the heart has a four chamber heart has a four chamber that is the right atrium left atrium right ventricle and left ventricle the both the compartment is separated by the wall that is known as the septum and the heart is made up of the muscular so cardiac muscles therefore the cardiac muscles therefore their contraction and relaxation heart is continuously beating or pumping let's coming to the working of heart how the heart works you know that the heart is divided into the four chamber that is the atria and ventricles the atria is responsible for the receiving the blood from the body parts and ventricles is responsible for the pumping out the blood to the body parts okay then last then let's start with the working of heart the first when the outer blood that is the impure blood enter into the right atrium enter into the right atrium means deoxygenated blood enter into the right atrium with the help of upper and lower vena cavas and that time right atrium is relaxed at that time right atrium is relaxed and when the right atrium is contract the blood means deoxygenated blood enter into the right ventricle enter into the right ventricle then at that time the right ventricle is relaxed but when the right ventricle is contract it transport out the deoxygenated blood to through the pulmonary artery to the lungs means when the right ventricle is contract and it pump out the deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary artery to the lungs when the blood is enter to the lungs it get converted to oxygenated blood means oxygen is mix it it in them means oxygen is mix in it okay then the oxygenated blood also enter into the left atrium the oxygenated blood also enter into the left atrium with the help of pulmonary vein means pulmonary veins through they get enter into the left atrium at that time the left atrium is relaxed when the left atrium is contract it transfer the blood oxy oxygenated blood into the left ventricle it transfer the oxygenated blood into the left ventricle and that time left ventricle is relaxed when left ventricle is contract it pull out the oxygenated blood 
through the aorta into the body parts. He pulled out the blood through the aorta, through the aorta to the whole body parts. That is the working of heart. And that why the blood enter into the heart two times. That is the first is a deoxygenated blood and second is the oxygenated blood. Therefore, it is known as the double circulatory system of heart. Simply, we see the in the diagrammatic representation. That is, let's see. This is the heart, and it divided into the four chambers. That is the right atrium. Left, right ventricle, left atrium and left ventricle. The deoxidative blood enter into the right atrium with, uh, through the vena cava and then it transfer into the right ventricles then uh, then the right ventricles and right ventricle pump out the deoxidative blood to the lungs through the pul pulmonary artery through the pulmonary artery and then they get converted into the oxidated blood and they enter this oxidated blood means oxygen rich blood enter into the left atrium through the pulmonary vein and pulmon uh, through pulmonary vein and the left atrium transfer the blood to left ventricle and the left ventricles transfer pulled out the blood through aorta to the body part.